we have entered the data on our Android device, how can we tell if an event has been synced with the online server? And if it has not been synced with the online server, how are we able to sync it? In this video, we will demonstrate the settings available for syncing your data to the online server. If an event has a gray, circular, double arrow to the right of it, it means that the event has not yet been synced with the online server. If the event listed does not have this button, it means that the event has already been synced with the online server. As we can see, the event we just added has not been synced with the server. This means that the event is stored locally on the Android device only. Clicking on the circular double arrow button will also reveal this. This is a result of the settings and how frequently the data are sent to DHIS2. By default, the data are sent on a timed schedule in bulk, rather than asking the user to upload each individual event. However, this can all be modified if required. If you want to sync the event to the server, click on Send in the bottom right corner after selecting the sync status. The app will display a message that says the data have been sent to the server. We can also see in the events list that it no longer displays a double circular arrow button next to the event. If you want to update the sync settings, you need to navigate to the app settings. Click on the back button next to the Malaria Case Registration Program name, and then the Menu button in the top left corner, then select Settings. There are a number of different sync setting options. Sync Data, Sync Configuration, and Sync Parameters. Under the Sync Data option, you can choose how often you would like for the data to be synced with the online server. The default option is every day, but this can be updated to suit your needs. If we had just finished entering 10 events and we wanted to sync them with the server as soon as possible, we could select Sync Data Now. This allows you to sync multiple events at once manually, regardless of the sync period. We can see that once the data have been synced, the last sync date changes to the current date and time. Let's verify the event has synced with the server now on the web browser capture app. Within Capture, having navigated to the same organization unit where we entered our event on the Android device, which was the Hatchetfish Primary Health Center, we can see the list of events that have been registered. If we open the most recent event, we can verify that it matches the details we have just entered on our Android device. We will pause here so you can review the sync options, sync the event that you registered in the app, and verify that it shows up in the online capture app.